Hello scientists! Today we're going to talk briefly about microscopes and explore a little more into the type of microscope we'll use most often in this class. Our big idea for today is that microscopes are optical tools used for viewing very small objects. An optical tool means that we use our eyes to perceive the information and microscopes bring into focus things that are very, very small, often that we can't see or see the details of with our naked eye. In this class, we'll use two types of microscopes, compound light microscopes and dissecting microscopes. In a compound light microscope, the light source shines from below whatever we're looking at, which means that we wanna use it for things that light can shine through. So often this will be prepared slides, where there's a cross section of whatever we're looking at that's cut very, very thin, thin enough for that light to come through. Dissecting microscopes have a light source that shines from above. That means that we can view things that light can't shine through. As the name suggests, this is often used for dissections, but we'll mostly just use it for larger objects in this class. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the parts of a compound light microscope um, and then once we start using dissecting microscopes in class we'll go over the parts of those in a little more detail. So I'm first going to show you these parts on a diagram and then I'll pull out a real microscope and show you on the ones we'll use in class. Okay, here's an outline of our microscopes and these are the most important parts. The eyepieces, the neck, the nose with the objective lenses attached, the stage, and the stage controls to move the stage forward and back, the light control and the light source, you can see it's below the stage where our slide will sit, the coarse and fine focus, the coarse knob is the wider knob with the larger diameter, and the fine focus is the one that sticks out a bit more, it has the smaller diameter, and then of course the power switch which is on the back of the microscope. When you first come up to our microscopes, you'll see that they're usually covered with this dust cover to keep them safe. And we can just take that off gently to get started. The first important part are our, eye, are our eye pieces. And you can very gently adjust if you need to make them a little wider or narrower for your face. We have the neck. When we pick up our microscope, we'll hold the neck and we'll place one hand under the base to keep it safe. Next, we have the nose. The nose is a ring where our objective lenses are attached and we can spin it to change the magnification of our view. So we have our highest level of magnification that we'll use, which is the 40X blue lens. We have 10X, which is the yellow lens, and we have 4X, which is the red lens. Every time you add or take off a slide, you'll want to make sure that the 4x red objective lens is the one that's in position. And you can hear how they kind of click into, into place when they're in the right spot. So the stage is where we'll put our slide. There's a little clip here. We'll slide it open, get our slide settled, and then close that clip. We have stage controls that move the stage forward and back and then move the slide side to side so that we can move what we are seeing through our eyepiece. We have our focusing knobs. Our coarse focus knob is the one we'll use first to get that focus slightly or as close as we can. And then once it's pretty good, we'll use the fine focus to get it really crisp. I would recommend getting it as focused as possible using the red lens, then bump up to the yellow and do just a little bit of focusing. It should be pretty close. And then finally, you can bump up to the blue if you want that level of mag magnification. And again, just use the fine focus. It should be pretty close. If you ever get lost in your focus, go back to the red and start over. It's really hard if you're on the blue to go from no focus to a really crisp focus. Below the microscope stage, we have our light source, and there you'll see that there's a focusing lens inside the stage with the sources down here. And there's two ways to adjust how much light is coming through the slide. The first is that there's a little dial under here, and then the second 
is that we have a spinner right here, which will also adjust how much light is coming through your slide. Finally, on the back, we have where our plug plugs in and a power switch. Um, so if you come up to a microscope and the light is not on, um, the first thing that I would check is your power switch. When we are putting our microscope away, we're gonna be sure that we're storing it with no slide on the stage. Our 4X objective lens ready to go. And finally, we'll just gently put the dust cover back on. And then we're all set. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.